In Unit 5, we're going to cover the title ad valorem tax and the annual ad valorem tax extensively. The title ad valorem tax, or TAVT, uh, the current rate is 6.6% .6 of the fair market value of the vehicle. Title ad valorem tax became effective on March 1st, 2013. Title ad valorem tax is a one-time tax that is paid at the time the vehicle is titled. And it replaced the sales tax and annual ad valorem tax, if you remember that is what was paid every time a vehicle ownership was transferred or a new resident registered a vehicle in Georgia uh, for the first time. There are some exemptions to the TAVT that I wanna go over with you, such as non-titled vehicles and trailers are exempt from TAVT, but are subject to annual ad valorem tax. New residents to Georgia pay TAVT at a rate of 3%. And this is a new Georgia law that just went into effect in 2019. Family transfer. On a family transfer, you would need form MV16 affidavit to certify immediate family. Uh, relationship is required. You know, if the vehicle is currently in the TAVT system, the family member can pay a reduced TAVT rate of 0.5% of the fair market value of the vehicle. If the vehicle is currently in the annual ad valorem tax system, the family member has the option of staying under annual ad value or paying full one-time TAVT. Inheritance. If you got inheritance, a T20 affidavit of inheritance is required. If the vehicle is currently in the TAVT system, the family member can pay that reduce, reduced TAVT rate of a half percent of the fair market value of the vehicle. So dealers that are aware of TAVT exemptions uh, should pass your knowledge of these exemptions onto your customers, which could lead to more sales for you. So you definitely need to be aware of title ad valorem tax exemptions. So here are some of those TAVT exemptions that you should definitely be aware of. Some military veterans are exempt from TAVT and you would need form MV30, which is a Georgian's veteran affidavit for relief and local TAVT and military documentation would be required as well. Disabled veterans that are compensated 100% are going to be exempt from title ad valorem tax. Prisoners of war are also exempt of title ad valorem, ta valorem tax. Purple Heart recipients are also exempt from title ad valorem tax and Medal of Honor recipients are exempt as well. So that's some excellent information uh, you know, to definitely pass on to your customers. All of those, uh, those categories there are exempt from paying title ad valorem tax. Others that are exempt from the title ad valorem tax are gonna be first responders, uh, public safety first responders are also allowed that TAVT exemption with a maximum of $50,000 fair market value combined for all vehicles he or she registers during any three-year period. So they do have a maximum of $50,000 on that exemption over the course of a three-year period for first responders that would be eligible under that exemption. But required documentation for that would be, it's called an MVPSFR, Public Safety First Responder uh, ad title ad tax, I'll say TAVT exemption application, and also an award letter from the Department of Administrative Services for any individual or spouse that's receiving payments for or indemnification for death or disability. And it also applies to, you know, a, to a law enforcement officer, firefighter, publicly employed emergency medical technician, or the surviving spouse of a first responder that is receiving payments uh, from the Department of Administrative Services due to certain injuries or deaths that actually occurred in the line of duty. So first responders, spouses that survived them after an in-line in duty death would also be exempt from the TABT. Market value for used motor vehicles. Let's, I wanna go over with you the market value for used motor vehicles. A used motor vehicle is any motor vehicle which has been the subject of a sale at retail to the general public. For a used motor vehicle, the fair market value is the value identified in the state motor vehicle assessment manual. And this value is calculated by averaging the current wholesale and retail values of the motor vehicle. Accordingly, the fair market value for a used motor vehicle for purposes of TAVT will generally be the same as the value that was used in the old annual ad valorem tax system. I do want you to definitely be aware of that. A reduction is made for the trade-in when the sale was made by a dealer, but not when the sale was made by a private individual. And I want to repeat that. 
The reduction is made for a trade-in when the sale was made by a dealer. We'll call that the trade-in allowance, but it's not when the sale was made by a private individual. So what if the used motor vehicle is not listed in the motor vehicle assessment manual? Well, if the vehicle is a used vehicle and it's not listed in the state motor vehicle assessment manual, the fair market value will be the higher of either the value of the bill of sale or the value listed in a used car market guide designated by the commissioner of the Department of Revenue. So once again, I want to repeat that. If that vehicle for some reason is not found in the state's motor vehicle assessment manual, then the fair market value will either be the value from the bill of sale or the value that's listed in any type of car market guide that has been approved by the commissioner of the Department of Revenue. So how do you calculate TAVT? The TAVT is calculated by multiplying the fair market value by the rate in effect on the date of the purchase. Once again, the TAVD is calculated by multiplying the fair market value by the rate in effect on the date of the purchase. A reduction is made for the trade-in when the sale was made by a dealer, but not when that sale was made by the private individual. Remember, we just mentioned that just a moment ago. So how do you calculate the trade-in value? The trade-in value is the value of the motor vehicle as stated on the bill of sale for the vehicle, which has been traded into the dealer in a transaction involving the purchase of another vehicle from the dealer. So you should always use fair market value as your trading guide, such as, you know, a Kelly Blue Book or NADA guides. And, you know, let's, let's just take a quick look here at the website address for the title ad valorem tax estimator. Okay. And as you see there, it's eservices.drives.ga.gov. Once again, that website for the Title Ad Valorem Tax Estimator is going to be eservices.drives.ga.gov. And as you see here, the TAVT estimator, we entered the VIN of the vehicle that was sold. For this example, let's say we sold the vehicle to someone that lives in Georgia. So we're going to check no on the new Georgia resident. And then they're asked if the vehicle was purchased from a dealer and if the vehicle is used. Well, we are used motor vehicle dealers, so you would check used and then enter the purchase date and then the accurate purchase price. And I want to remind you, as we stated earlier, you could have a customer that asks you to enter a purchase price that's actually lower than the actual purchase price. Uh, so they can pay basically a lower tax uh, on that vehicle. So remember, no matter what, if you've got someone telling you, hey, I'm giving you $10,000 for the car, but can you please mark down $7,500 on the tax estimator? Well, that's a violation of the law. And remember, that would be illegal. So always, no matter what the customer is asking you to do, always enter the accurate purchase price. Select whether or not a trade-in was taken. And if so, enter the trade-in amount. Check whether or not the vehicle was purchased. Or before we move on, I want to bring your attention to the bottom of this form where it reads, Dealers, this is an estimator and does not replace your standard ETR process. So, you know, if you need additional information or an exact amount, you can please, you know, use your ETR. So always remember this is an estimator only and does not replace the electronic title registration process we spoke of earlier. So that's going to be a very accurate estimator of the taxes due. So then you're going to click on the blue calculate fees button that you see down there at the bottom. And then you can easily see the total taxable value was $7,000, which was the $10,000 purchase price minus a $3,000 trade-in. And then you see the estimated TAVT and then also any penalties. And since there are not penalties, the estimated calculated TAVT on this transaction would be $462. But uh, once again, I do want you to be aware, this is a TAVT estimator and it does not replace your electronic title registration process. Okay, this is just to give a quick estimate on TAVT. So you might use this to quickly show the customer their estimated TAVT uh, before, during, or maybe even just after the deal. But uh, to get the accurate uh, the actual, accurate uh, number, then that's going to be computed through your ETR. So, you know, also in the most rich, recent legislative session, the Georgia Assembly passed Senate Bill 65, which made several changes to the title ad valorem tax, which applies to vehicles purchased on or sold after January 1st of 2020. So any vehicle that was purchased on or sold after January 2020, the two changes that apply to most vehicle transactions are that the TAVT rate will be lower to 6.6% of the fair market value instead of 7%. So I want to repeat that. The TAVT rate is lowered 
to 6.6% of the fair market value of the motor vehicle from the previous 7%. Uh, the cutoff year for reduced TAVT rate, 1% for older vehicles, uh, changed to 1989. So the reduced rate applies to any person who purchases a 1963 through 1989 model year motor vehicle. And, you know, this change ultimately reduces the TAVT paid on vehicles by Georgians uh, throughout the state. So they do want you to be aware that's a very, uh, a very current tax change to the law here that uh, they want you to be aware of. But with that being said... You know, if you ever have any questions about TAVT, you can contact the Motor Vehicle Division. That's 855-406-5221. Once again, that's 855-406-5221 from 8 o'clock through 4.30 Eastern Standard, Monday through Friday, excluding holidays. So there's some great resources there. Don't ever hesitate to use the resources that we're showing you here uh, because they're going to be like gold. You know, these, these phone numbers are going to help you maintain compliance, but you want to make sure you're never winging it. You know, uh, if there's maybe some tax calculation, maybe that you're not sure of or something like that, you know, call one of the resources, call one of the phone numbers that we've given you here. Uh, they're going to help you maintain compliance. Like I said, if you have any questions, we don't want to wing it. We want to make sure we stay in contact with the proper state agency uh, so we can maintain our compliance. Next, let's go over the annual ad valorem tax. Okay. Now the annual ad valorem tax applies to most vehicles uh, not taxed under TAVT or, or the alternate ad valorem tax, such as a trailer, you know, annual ad valorem tax is a value tax that is assessed annually and must be paid at the time of registration. Payment of ad valorem tax is a prerequisite to receiving a tag or a renewal de tag, a, a renewal decal. Ad valorem taxes are due each year on all vehicles, whether they are operational or not, even if the tag or registration renewals is not being applied for. So keep that in mind. Taxes must be paid by the last day of your registration period. Uh, that's the birthday uh, to avoid that 10% penalty. So always remember that registration period, the last day would be the birthday of the person who owns the vehicle. Tax amounts vary according to the current fair market value of the vehicle and the tax district in which the owner resides. Out Valorum tax receipts are distributed then to state, county, schools, and cities. But uh, I want to briefly show you the annual Ad Valorum tax calculator. And you can find that at eservices.drives.ga.gov. Once again, that's eservices.drives.ga.gov. And here, you see, you would just enter the VIN and the year should automatically populate. So let's say the vehicle owner is in Fulton County in Atlanta. Then click on the blue Calculate Fees button to easily calculate that annual and Valorum tax as well. But, uh, you know, once again... If you have any questions about title ad valorem tax or the annual ad valorem tax, you can certainly contact the Motor Vehicle Division. Once again, that's 855-406-5221 from 8 to 4.30 uh, Eastern Time. And that's going to be Monday through Friday. So with that being said, as a reminder, I always want to let you know, if you can review that unit or any other units that we have here in your course at any time, simply by going to georgiadealer.com. Once again, that's georgiadealer.com. Click on the videos link there and you can review any content throughout the entire course.